prestigious contract was awarded to Jumbo Shipping by KNPC, the Kuwait National Petroleum Company. The contract involved the shipment and uncarriage of in total 37 reactors, separators and coke drums from Italy and India to the laydown area in the port of Shuaiba in Kuwait. All this heavy equipment will be part of the Clean Fuels project expansion of the Mina Abdullah and Mina Al Ahmadi refineries, approximately 30 kilometers south of Kuwait City. A total 26 heavy lifts were shipped from the Larsen and Tubro plant in Hazira, India. Due to draft restrictions at the Hazira jetty, Jumbo mobilized its flat top heavy lift barge JB2. With this barge, the heavy lifts were shifted from the LNT jetty to the SR jetty, approximately 8 kilometers downriver, where Jumbo's G class heavy lift vessels could receive the barge alongside. At the SR jetty, Jumbo's heavy lift vessel Fair Partner, equipped with two 900 ton mast cranes, was ready to load all heavy lifts. Carefully engineered lift and stowage plans were carried out, and with some reactors lifted into the lower hold and the remaining ones on the weather deck, the Fair Partner completed the loading operation. In four and a half days, the Fair Partner sailed to Shuaiba port. 11 heavy lifts, mostly exceeding the 1,000 ton category, were shipped from Italy to Kuwait in two shipments, starting September 2010. Jumbo Shipping was responsible for the engineering, shipment and land transport of all pieces. To mobilize the heavy reactors from the Italian fabricator to Porto Maghera, one of the barges required different load spreading saddles. Therefore, the final transport and storage saddles were placed individually in the lower hold of the Jumbo Jubilee. The 1200 tons reactor was lifted from the barge and carefully maneuvered above the lower hold of the Jumbo Jubilee. With both 900 tons mast cranes working in tandem, the reactor was safely placed in her pre-installed transport saddles in the lower hold. The remaining heavies were mobilized on another barge, while the smaller units were transported directly from the fabricator to a location within reach of the vessel's cranes. With two extremely heavy units in the lower hold and five on deck, the Jumbo Jubilee sailed to Shuaiba. In Shuaiba, both reactors and coke drums were discharged onto self-propelled modular transporters, or SPMTs. These SPMTs are state-of-the-art transporters that can travel sideways and easily maneuver past obstacles en route. After opening the main hatch covers of the Jumbo Jubilee, the remaining heavy units from the lower hold were also discharged onto SPMTs. Now the last part of Jumbo's scope of work started. The land transport to the laydown area, approximately 5 kilometers away from the port. Route details and traffic management were discussed with the transport crew and soon the transport combination was on its way. By using computer-controlled SPMTs, the transport operation can be executed in a precise, controlled manner. After about one and a half hours time, the transport combination arrived at the laydown area. The 
large number of concrete supports and load spreading mats were used to enable the SPMTs to lower the reactor hydraulically onto the support points. In this way, all reactors were offloaded onto concrete supports using the trailer hydraulics. In order to protect the reactors inside from corrosion, the internal nitrogen pressure was checked and, when necessary, adjusted. Over a period of eight months and in close collaboration with client KNBC, Jumbo delivered all cargo safely, on time and within budget. Another job well done by Jumbo Shipping.